Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. This uh, little guy here is Popeye. And we're the RC Sailors. We're at the airfield today, just having a little fun uh, with a drone that we want to share with you guys. This is called the Red Paws R020 Blast. It's kind of a long name, so we'll have a link in the description box below if you want to check it out for yourself. What we're going to do in this video, just like pretty much all of our videos, is show you everything that comes with this drone, then we're going to fly it for you and let you know if it's worth your hard-earned money. Now, sometimes you guys ask for uh, equipment, like uh, show us the equipment that you guys use from cameras to chargers. Popeye's got a toy, he's having fun. And uh, this is something that we use a lot. It's actually how I charged this drone today. It's a little power pack, and I even I still have the box. It's called an, an Amigvola 20,000 milliamp battery pack, okay? It's not too bad of a price. Uh, I'll have it linked in the description box right below the drone. The thing that I like about this one is, first of all, it's a 20,000 milliamp battery. So, for example, this is a 1,000 milliamp battery for the drone. If you do the math and it comes out right, I should be able to get at least 20, you know, about 20 charges out of this. Now, some people are going to say that's inaccurate. Maybe I can only get about 15 charges out of it. But the point is, I can charge a lot of little drones on this. This is nice because I have a little button I can press. And it tells me, it says 51% on there. I know it's hard for you guys to see right now. It's really, really bright out, even here in the shade. I can see it, 51. Yeah. When, I, when I left the house today to charge this drone, it was at 54%. So that should give you a rough idea. As in there it says 20,000 20, milliamps. So I like it, I like it a lot. I use it for my phone, I use it for my drones, I use it just all the time. I'm constantly using this thing. It's a good size, even fits in my pocket. It's about the same size as a phone. So I like that. I like it a lot. You guys will probably enjoy it too. So if you're looking for a power pack that actually works, that's a good one. We'll have a link in the description box below. Here's the drone. Uh, now this looks like a few different types of drones. I always say it looks like a parrot mambo. Uh, this style, some people would say it maybe looks like the DJI uh, Rise Tello, but I, I think it looks like the parrot mambo. So uh, there you have it. It's a single cell 1000 milliamp LiPo battery. Just plugs into the back. We have a little power button on top. It does come with a USB charge cable. Four prop guards right here in the box. And we have a very common style of transmitter now. These antennas are fake. There is no wire going up through that or any hardware. It's just plastic for the looks. What I like about this is that the phone holder is in the bottom and it's a pretty good size. It would even hold our Enigma battery. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, all the buttons are labeled. So I do like that a lot. It feels good. It's not a tiny little toy cheap feeling thing. Uh, the gimbals feel good. It's nice. Underneath, that white plastic, we have four spare props, an instruction booklet, which is probably worth holding on to if you if you need to maybe learn how to fly a drone with the basics. And then we also have our QR codes. So let's fly this, see how it does, see if it's worth your hard earned money. All right, today's kind of a rough day for flying for us. The allergies are so bad. We're just uh, gonna take off here from behind that box. I hit auto takeoff. <laughs> Let's hope that pole's not in the way. There we go. Okay, we're, we're clear. We're clear. Now, I do like these direct driven props to the motors. What I mean by that is that these, these props are not, uh, and the motors as well, are not run through a bunch of gears. You just have a prop directly onto the prop shaft that goes into the motor. I, I like that. Less Keeps chance it, of stripping the yeah, gear. Yeah, that's or... right. Keeps it a little quieter. And... Uh, the altitude hold on this is just rock solid. I love I love the blue collar too. It looks really good. Now I noticed when I powered on, yeah, I can see them. Can you see those green lights, Abby? Trying to get not them. Not on my camera. And see not it? in real Oh yeah, just barely. Yeah. Uh, sorry guys, I was looking at now I they can see. I saw bright. them for a minute on the camera. Yeah, you gotta hit them at the right angle, but right, they are bright. It's right in the center between the camera. And Nathan did say uh, after <laughs> we turned the camera off the last time that the camera pitch does in fact angle. Here we go, let's do rates. Got a little breeze kicking up, so. so you can manually adjust the pitch of yes. the camera Thank on the you. ground. Okay, now that I'm in the second rate, this is handling that breeze really well. The altitude hold works nicely. Yeah, it's doing a good job. Okay, let's try to get a little smooth for you guys. The, uh, the Wi-Fi feed is actually very good. Uh, very little delay. 
I would expect some with the Wi-Fi FPV drone. This little guy, I don't want to fly too far away because their range isn't super far. But I don't have any interference, which is really good. It's flying well. Stay my little butterfly. Let's see if we can get us in the shot. We're over here in a little sliver of shade just trying to hide, which I probably have already done, but using the camera to get us in frame. Very nice, very nice. A little breeze is pushing me around some. Now, if you wanted to, you wouldn't have to use the transmitter to fly this. You could use your phone and the app only to fly it. But trust me, I love having a dedicated transmitter. Yeah, the transmitter is just easier to use. Yeah. Now, all the buttons are labeled, so I just take a look at the button really quick. Hey, we're in rate three. And now it's very zippy. Oh, wow, the y'all. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> okay, I'll get closer and show you guys what I was talking about. I like that the buttons are labeled. That's there we nice. Go. Yeah, I love that. The yaw is crazy. All right, so all you guys that get seasick when we go crazy with our FPV, don't look at the corner, okay? Don't look at the corner. Are you ready? This is gonna happen fast because yeah. of the wind. All right, the yaw. Look at it. I love the crazy spins. That's fast. The yaw. Wow, that's fun. That was good. That was good. Do you think this is? I want to do a cyclone with it like that, okay? You could fly inside. Oh, absolutely. Look, cyclones. Nice. That's good. That's fun. Yeah. Now, I think this is the only one, the only version of this little guy that we've seen that has that crazy high yaw rate. Look at that. It's like spinning on the corner. Uh-huh. The corner that's the lowest yeah, the arm. Yeah, that was good. It just looks like it's a top spinning on it. I want to go back to rate two, because rate two for flying was good. Now, we should be able to do flip two, so let's hit the flip button. That was a good flip. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Here, go a little bit lower. Like this? Yep. Now go. So you can see that it doesn't lose any altitude yeah, it does using the tree line. Try it one more time. It does gain altitude. It gains before, some, but, but it doesn't lose good. any, and that's good. It's not struggling. Ooh. We are so, with those flies and bees and I know. <laughs> allergies. <laughs> allergies are bad. So the button that I hit, it does have an auto takeoff button. Once you turn the drone on, and then you turn the transmitter on, you're bound. You give it a little throttle up, actually all the way, and then all the way down, and it's completely bound to the drone and ready to take off. Then you have a little button in the top left corner by the throttle. See there, Abby? Mm -hmm. It has a drone picture with an arrow up. Auto takeoff. You have auto takeoff and auto land, which is really nice. Now we should have headless mode and return to home. I think that's what those are. I'm gonna hit that just to see what they do. Okay, let's hit this one. I assume that's headless mode because it's beeping. So let's give it rotation and I'll push away. What do you know? It's working perfectly. So I want to really, yeah, three. I'm going to, I'm going to. <laughs> this is really going to put it to the test. So I'm in headless mode. That's why it's beeping. I don't like the beep. I'll be honest with you guys. So you're going to do crazy yaw, crazy and, yaw push and push forward. And look at that. I can actually fly this drone. <laughs> that's so kind <laughs> of. <laughs> While it's doing the crazy spin, I have control oh over it. So do you want me to go away? I can go away. We're making everybody sick. Yeah, close your eyes. Don't I'm look getting, at the FPV I'm getting corner. sick right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go out of the headless mode. Go out of crazy, crazy high rate. Oh no, sorry, sorry. There, we're back. <laughs> the wind got me. A little you gust said of sorry, wind. So I winced like it was gonna hit me. <laughs> I didn't know I was now we have returned home too. So let's just hit that. Okay. Yep, it's coming back toward us, although I wasn't lined up. So let me just, you know, it's return to home on these guys is not actually a GPS return to home. Remember that. But if I hit it, see, it's coming right back toward us. I just got to stop it before it gets too close. And if you don't stop it, it'll just keep going. That's right. That's right. So um, what's our flight time at right now? Um, 5.30. Okay. 5 minutes, 30 seconds. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Hopefully it lasts a little longer. That's all the buttons on here, so everything else is just flying it for fun. We tested everything very quickly, but it does seem to work really well. It's a fun drone. This is perfect size for inside or outside. The camera quality is good. I, I like this. This is nice. It's, it's going to be a solid two thumbs up. We've at least got a five minute flight time under our belt, so there's nothing to complain about. Although I do want to give a shout out to the drone that we flew just a couple days ago that had an eight 
15 minute flight time. The visual battle shark drone. The only other drone I've ever seen that gets that long of a flight time uh, is like a DJI Mavic or something. Yeah, you guys need to check that video out because it really does legitimately fly that long. If you're not interested in something like this, you should probably pick one of those up because we've never seen anything come even close to that flight time. Maybe if we're lucky, 10 minutes, but 18 minutes. My DJI Spark, that's a $450 drone, sometimes, sometimes on sale for a little less, uh, only gets about 10, 11 minutes. Come on, we need to start seeing these longer flight times on all these things. This one's doing pretty good though. This one's doing pretty good. I like this. We may have someone pulling in here. Let's fly up and see if I can see them. <laughs> up over the building. I hear somebody. Yep, we sure do. Look at that big truck. I think that's JD. Oops, I need to come back. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> you flew it behind oh. the building. Yeah, I got it though. You got it? All right. <laughs> flying well. It's flying well. Uh, I'll tell you guys what happened there. The building that we're standing by to hide in shade is made out of like tons of metal. All this siding and everything is just tons of metal. The roof is metal. We're surrounded by metal. So when I flew up over the building, I lost my FPV uh, signal. It just kind of froze. I'm back. Still recording? Okay. still recording. Everything's fine, but that signal kind of froze. And so I needed to walk around and get line of sight of the drone again. Well, I did not think. What did you say? Oh, this was a I think the lights are blinking. Thousand milliamp battery. Yeah, I want to. We hit the camera button for yeah. me. I did not think the battery would last this long. I stopped filming just so we would know for sure it would save, but the the battery is low now. The battery is low because I you saw. Should land. Yeah, I think I will. I'm going to do auto save landing. the life of your battery. I hit the auto it's landing button. To land when it's low. I can still steer it down. I'm just going to land in that grass there. And Good job. yeah, hey, great little drone. Eight minutes. Good. Confirmed the lights are blinking, so we got a low battery, and, and I can tell you guys, I, I think this is probably the best version of this little drone that I have seen. The little, you know, just a knockoff kind of thing. Uh, but it works really well. What'd you say, seven minute, eight minute flight? Eight minutes. That's really good. That's really good for a small little guy like this. The lighting's so bad today, you should flip your hat backwards. Or sideways, that'll work too. There you go. I'm super cool now. <laughs> Can you see my face better? I think that in that little screen it looks bad, but actually on camera, like, we'll see. <laughs> it's not as bad. It's it's bright. It's very bright. It's super hot. It's like 90 degrees out. Well, that drone exceeded my expectations. It honestly did me too. Yes, I was. I, 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 I was it's ready cool. to tell you guys it's junk. Don't buy it. But I'm glad to be able to tell you that it's not. There's a lot of there's a lot of times we get a drone if it has a couple little flaws and it just doesn't meet what we call our standards now. Uh, we'll tell you guys, hey, you know, it's an okay drone, but there's better out there. Just wait and get something else. This is not the case with this drone. This is a great drone. It gets two thumbs up. Uh, the price is pretty fair. It comes with a nice dedicated transmitter that works well. We never had any signal weird issues while doing the Wi-Fi FPV like we see sometimes on these guys. And uh, I gotta... we had a little company stop by and I didn't know how Popeye and he would get along, so I had to take a pause there got the max AC on in the car and the windows are cracked so we can only do this for a second but trust me it's a great drone if you're in the market for something like this I mean it's not groundbreaking but it is a solid drone and I give it two thumbs up we'll have a link in the description box below as well as that battery pack that we use to charge a lot of our uh, drones and to keep our cameras charged up while we're out on the field too uh, like our phones and stuff so we'll have that down there if you guys are interested as always, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.